Hi, I'm Dr. Uday Sabarwal. In this video, we will be talking about how to perform a sling suture. A sling suture is particularly helpful in periodontal cases where flap surgery and recession coverage procedure has been performed. This allows your buccal papillae to be suspended and supported by the palatal surface of the tooth, which allows coronal placement of the soft tissue and good tissue adaptation. Now let us learn how we perform a sling suture. Our first passing of the needle is from the buccal to palatal or lingual side. While engaging the buccal papilla without engaging the palatal papilla, we loop the thread around the palatal surface to make a sling and we move our needle from the palatal to the buccal portion without engaging either papilla. So, we are moving from palatal to buccal without engaging either papilla. We turn our needle and we go back from buccal to palatal in a similar manner as we did with the distal papilla. This time moving from the buccal towards the palatal without engaging the palatal papilla, engaging the buccal papilla 2 to 3 millimeters below the tip of the buccal papilla. We create another loop or sling and we move back from the palatal to the buccal without engaging either papilla and we finally will tie the knot or the suture. It needs to be made sure that the palatal loops or slings are well adapted to the cervical portion of the tooth, in this case the premolar, and we follow our same knotting protocol like we discussed this suture is particularly beneficial for periodontal surgical procedures such as flap surgery, recession coverage or even certain guided bone regeneration or guided tissue regeneration procedures. This can also be really helpful in stage 2 implant surgeries as well as many oral surgery procedures. The purpose of this suture is to suspend and support the soft tissue around the tooth thereby ensuring closer adaptation, promoting optimum healing and currently displacing the tissue. So that concludes our video session for the sling sutures. To watch any of our previous videos, please click on any of the links given here. And to watch our next video on simple continuous suture, please click on the link provided here. Thank you.